My name is Jennifer Denae. I am 31 years old and I have trigeminal neuralgia. I was 25 when I found out that I had this and my first thought was what in the world is this? I have no idea, never heard of it. I have no idea what this is. And when I um, looked it up, I thought, oh no, that's not good. <laughs> it's um, a relief that it's not life threatening, but what they don't, what doctors don't tell you at the beginning is that it's life changing. It's awful because she's so young um, and I just feel like I want to take it from her so that she can be happy and do everything that she wants to do. Not that she's not happy, but do more of with her life that she wants to do. I have a constant burning, aching sensation all over the entire left side of my face and head. And then I uh, get sharp shooting, stabbing pain just intermittently throughout the day. Um, it can be triggered by touch or it could just sporadically happen for no reason. If I wake up and my head's pounding, um, then I know it's not gonna be a good day. If I wake up and my face is already sore, then I pretty much have to cancel all my plans. I don't work anymore. Um, I tried to for a long time, but as a teacher, I, I couldn't put all of my effort into teaching because I had to take care of myself too. And it was just, I was wearing myself way too thin and I was having really frequent flare-ups. And then um, I thought after the second surgery, you know, hoping that it was going to work, that I'd be able to get my life back and put my all into teaching. But the year, I resigned a year after the second surgery failed. So, and that was really hard, really depressing. Um, because it was something that I had worked so hard for. She doesn't sit around feeling sorry for herself about this. She is an advocate for this disease, for other people that find out they have it. She finds support groups for them, and she wants to get her master's into helping people um, with that have to live with chronic pain to help them. Being an advocate for people that are younger, too, and with chronic pain, um, because it, we're not expected to be sick. We're expected to be healthy and um, we're looked upon as lazy sometimes from people and that's really difficult because I'm not, you know, that's not the type of personality that I have. I mean, I enjoy getting up and going to work every day, but it's something that I can't do. For me. Head this way a little bit. Right This is the fourth annual Trigeminal Neuralgia Awareness Day on October 7th. And there will be places all over the world lit up in teal. We share the teal ribbon with ovarian cancer, actually. Um, but ours says trigeminal neuralgia with a little lightning bolt. Give me a little more smile. And giant smile. <laughs> Gorgeous. I'm working with a few people to try to get an awareness walk together in Fort Wayne this year. Um, just to help raise money, uh, but help raise awareness and help raise money to put towards the Facial Pain Research Association. One thing that I hate missing are things like with my family. Um, we'll have plans, you know, something with my nieces and nephews, and I wake up that morning and I, I can't go. And my family's really good about taking pictures and telling me about it, but just laying there in bed in pain and knowing that my family and you know they're out doing something that I and I can't be there. My niece and nephews won't have that memory with me.